I'm making a movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be one that... Do you remember when they came out with Animal House? They thought, oh, it, yeah. they thought it would never make it. Yeah. It's the funniest number one show yeah. still. Isn't yeah. that weird how they, they, you know, and it was made in Oregon, at the Oregon coast. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Yep. And then they filmed some of it in Eugene, I think. Eugene or Salem. I'm oh, not okay. sure. But, uh... Yeah, there's been a couple of movies you thought would never make it, you know? Like American Graffiti. Or The Goonies. Oh, that, that <laughs> Goonies was at the beach. There. I think it wasn't at the beach, uh, the one I said, Animal House. Animal House was at Eugene or Salem. Okay. And Goonies was at the beach. Yep. <coughs> it's been a long time since I thought of Goonies. <laughs> I saw uh, saw some girls going out there to like the a Goonie festival because the house I think is like a museum. I'm not sure. I've heard of stuff where yeah. you know they just had a reunion last summer or the, no the two summers ago for Animal House because the guy down here on, on uh, Gun Club Road, he, he had one of those Lincolns. Oh, okay. He bought it and he was going to work on it, but then they, they sold their house and they moved. But oh, okay. <clears throat> See, we got a fiberglass out of the window. Sound system. It does I, have one. I, no, I could come to an event and like oh. be the DJ. Yep. Right out of this. Yep. Well, that someday I can drive this thing. <laughs>
So you're the owner of this car. No. <laughs> I don't own Fords anymore. First one, last one. What year is it? 60. 60? Ford Rent, Ranchero. Was it one of the early first releases or? No, 57 Chevys came, 57 Ford Rancheros came out in 57, but they were the big car. Okay. This is the first Falcon, the first little Falcon. Was like a small one. Yep. Yeah. See, the Mustang was designed after the Falcon. Really? Yeah. So, do you know, like, the weight comparison? Like, how what much is, weight weight they dropped? It, to, it, this one here is 2,400 pounds. And what was the standard engine? Do you uh, know? Straight six. They didn't make a V8 until... Uh, and the first one was a, a 360. It was in the 63 or so, you know, Chevys they came out. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. So, uh, automatic or stick? It's got a C4 automatic in it. Okay. And then a Mustang 302 all built. So, off the, off the assembly line, could it rip the pavement? Was it strong enough to peel out? No, no. no. These, the rear end, <clears throat> if I didn't change the rear end on this and it had the original rear end, first day I'd blow it apart. They're so weak. Yeah. Especially when you put the eggs. Okay. So mm -hmm. you, you've got your, the engine you're rebuilding, is that a V8? Yes. All right. What size? 302. Okay. How much horsepower? We don't know yet. He's not done building it. You know, he's the one that caught the virus. So, off the assembly line, the straight six, do you know how much horsepower it had? I think they had, what, something like 75 horsepower, something like that, Austin? Not very much. <laughs> I'm wondering, my motorcycle's got more. Yeah, not very much. <laughs> well, like I said, these, these were, I believe these came out, Come here, Max. Hey. Kind of like when the uh, uh, Hondas came over here, you know. Which the, what Hondas? The little Hondas. You like know? the, like the front wheel drive cars. No, no, these were. Was it fifty nine or something? See how that I don't know. Now? Oh yeah. Now we gotta put the shocks on it. Need help, Austin? You know where I think we're going to get the bracket for the uh, tonneau cover for the shocks? <laughs> Off that tonneau cover I bought. Remember they just fiberglassed a piece in there to hold it? Yeah. We'll just take it off that. Well, we'll see with the one that the part stores are first. Nope, these were actually, I heard they were designed to F the Mustang came out. You know, what it was is they, people liked the little car, but it didn't have a big motor. Okay. So they, uh, you know. Right, you, right. You know, and then, uh, but this one has Mustang suspension underneath it when I bought it. Someone changed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> These came out with a four lug, and now it's a five lug, and the rear end is a 8.8 .8 instead of the... I don't know what the, see this is my first Ford I built, you know. You're a Chevy man? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't pass this up for 500 bucks. Yeah. Look at it, you know. I, what did we figure we got into this right now, Austin? Probably about, what, 8,000? Uh, I think so. You know. That's with new tires, bodywork, paint job, interior. Yeah. Everything. I'm looking, uh, I got these off my last parts truck, the bumpers. They're not good, but I mean, they look better than nothing. Hell yeah. They're dented, you know, I mean, I saw a nice one on the internet yesterday. It's, it's 325 for, you know, totally done, you know. These were six hundred dollars a piece. The El Camino. Front and back. Yeah. Front and back, six hundred a piece. 
All right, so now that we're here, let's talk about this car. 59 El Camino, first one ever made. It's number 159 coming down the assembly line. So I tell her, watch it. Kurt. Sorry, man. Need help? No, I got this. Reminds me. Ready to start fiber glassing? Uh, unless we trim the sides up. Uh, trim the sides up. I can't hear you. If we trim the sides up first. Oh, oh, you're gonna take that one down, yeah. Reminds me of putting in a flooring with the big sheets of plywood. Yeah, what was it for? Flooring. Flooring, yeah. At, yeah. Okay, so what's the year on this one here? 59. 59. 159 coming down the assembly line. Mike, this is Mike West. He says it's number 159 coming down the assembly line. How long have you had it? Eight years now. Okay. Eight years. Yep. I got it out of Eugene. It came to me and it was just a shell. On a, on a, you know, on a stock suspension. Everything underneath has been changed. Was, was there an engine? The engine here? No, was, when you bought it, did no. it? No. No. It was just the body? Just the body. And, uh, they had the hood already prepared to paint, but the rest of it, like the back corner panels there, underneath the chrome on the side. Yeah. My brother-in-law made those. He's a machinist. He's a sheet metal fabricator. So are we here? Yep, he made all that. Both sides. Yep. You can buy them, but he made. He says, "Why would I go buy them when I can take them to work?" That's what he does, you know. Okay. He's a machinist, you know, at a machine, you know place. Nice. This has a four o four o six in it. They called it. It's a 350 board out and all that, you know. That's what you have now? Yeah. In it? Mm hmm And I just put a, I had a, uh, 80s two-speed, the aluminum power glide. But, uh, yeah, I didn't like it, so I took it out because I was going to race this. And you want the two-speed power glide because you just want two gears to go. Okay. <laughs> but, uh... Is, it's an automatic now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It, I just put it in, what, about two years ago. Uh, was it standard when it was released? What do you mean? When Sta the standard uh, transmission? I'm not sure, because I never looked. You oh, know? okay. You know. Uh, no, it, it, it was automatic. It was automatic when I got it. Okay. Because I remember the column that showed the, you know... How many miles on the odometer when you got it? No you, idea. No. So. No idea. Because I, I would guess, like, if there's no engine, yeah. there's no way to tell. Right. Okay. Now, like this, I've had it, oh, more than eight years. But uh, I've probably got about 500 miles on it in the last eight years. <laughs> You know, because I play with these, you know, in the 54. The 54 is over here? Yeah, the white one. Yeah, it's in the other shed. Buick? No, Chevy, 54, 210. All right. Cool. I, see, I don't even know about that one. Yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to uh, it's, uh, check uh, it out sometime. We caught my daughter. She, she was a computer animator designer for Papa Murphy's commercials for... Uh, Ten years and got out of there. Now she's a middle school teacher. Yeah. But she made uh, Casper and put it on the window, and so we call this Casper. You know. So you had the re interior, like this recently. Oh yeah. Upgraded. Yeah. Can I open the door? Yeah. Did you see the front seat before? Yeah, I rode with you to Walmart. Yeah, sit in it now. Or sit in it now and feel the difference. It's locked. We'll sit it on the other side. It's unlocked. Okay. Remember how you'd sink down when you sat in it? 
Yeah. Go sit in it now. But that cost me another three hundred dollars. <laughs> Push your buttons and see. Oh, I will. So this was all like nothing when you got it inside. Right, right, yeah. The, you know, what, the ab dash? what about the dash? I rattle canned it, painted it. Did it come with the dash? Yeah, everything 